In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the most versatile match defense in Madden 22 to absolutely bag the trips tight end meta offense that you're going to be facing in the weekend league and in tournaments and all that. So if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. We post videos every day that can help you get better at Madden, both on offense and on defense. And also, if you're looking to take your game to the next level in Madden 22, I want to encourage you to check out my Patreon. That's my true fan membership uh, for my most committed people, the guys that really want to take their game to the next level. We've released over 10 eBooks right now as it sits uh, in that membership. We also release exclusive tips and streams every single week there. So if you want to get access to all of that additional content, um, it's on sale for just $10 a month and you can cancel it whenever you want. As long as your subscription is active, you'll get access to every single piece of content that we release over there. Every ebook, every tip, every live stream, everything. You also have access to personal messaging with me so you can ask your questions and all that. So uh, guys, head over to Patreon. Be sure to join that. I think that's very, very helpful for a lot of people. And again, if you're looking to take your game to the next level, I think it'd be helpful for you as well. The way you sign up for that is just click the link down in the description. It'll take you right over there and you can get all squared away. Now, guys, Trips tight end is no joke. It's one of the best offenses year in and year out um, because of a couple different things. You know, one of those is that it's just a space, very well spaced out offense. Um, it's also got really good routes. It's got good flooding concepts. It's got just good concepts in it. And so in this video, like I said, we're going to be taking a look at how you can slow it down um, with the cover six defense, which I absolutely love the cover six defense in this year's game. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come out and cover six. Now, what I like to do is go ahead and sub in uh, a couple safeties there. And then I also like to go ahead and put my best pass rushers in. As you can see, I'm just kind of subbing in my guys. And then we're going to go to cover six. Now, the beauty of this is uh, you can create kind of an interesting little alignment against trips tight end by doing one simple shift. We're just simply going to shift our, D line, our linebackers to the left side. Now, what this allows us to do is we can go ahead and we can always have an opportunity to be able to send pressure. We can blitz this guy right here, Delpit. This guy right here is the perfect user candidate in this defense. And then we're just going to QB contain. And what you're going to see here is oftentimes you can kind of create some really unique little pressures um, out of this against the trip side end set. Okay, so that's kind of the base blitz, if you will. But it also sets us up really good for coverage. And the reason it sets us really up good up for coverage is because there's one simple problem with the cover six and that in lies the issue. The biggest challenge in cover six, in my personal opinion, is you're gonna get what's called the special check. Essentially what that means is that on the left side, this is gonna play very similarly to cover four palms. Williams is gonna be man locked on Mike Evans wherever he goes. So if he runs to the flat, he's always gonna cover him no matter what. What that means for this defender is he is now in charge of number two if number two goes vertical. So if Scotty Miller goes to the vertical, then Hill is gonna take him in man to man. If Scotty Miller goes to the flat, then he's also gonna guard him. So it's kind of almost man matching on, on both of these two, if you will. And then the next thing is that this guy right here is in relationship with number three, which is Chris Godwin. So if Chris Godwin goes to the vertical, he's gonna um, take him. If he doesn't, this guy will oftentimes look for work on the number two or the number three. Last but not least, this backside is not a quarters or palms concept it's actually a cover two sink and therein lies our biggest challenges because we basically have palms to the trips and then we have sink to the tight end side so if the tight end runs let's just say we get a route combo like this we're going to send a tight end to a drag and then we're going to send something like this real big vertical and then we get that drag as a check down if you take a look that quarter flat goes vertical now the three wreck is responsible for playing that so we don't want to use or him so who do you use her? Well, the biggest challenge with cover six, in my personal opinion, is if you actually look at how this play is gonna work out, the crossing route to circle, if he's got a route running ability, you can kind of hit that. You see where he's kind of getting open in that area. So what I like to do in this defense is I like to go ahead and essentially just use her the vertical hook defender, okay? And I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. So when we shift our line this direction and we have this guy right here as a blitzer, I like to always QB contain him. That's going to help significantly with any kind of rollout that they're going to do, any kind of that stuff. This guy's going to be in a really good position. And then every now and then, like I said, we'll blitz that three reg hook if we ever want to get pressure. But the beauty of this is pretty much no matter what the route combination is, I'm in a really good position because all I'm doing is dealing with this deep crosser. That's literally my responsibility. Other than that, 
I'm good to kind of help. I kind of help ride the tight end, kind of rise up with the tight end vertical. So in a situation where the tight end goes vertical, you'll see right here that because we have a blitzer there, I'm going to take the snap throw away, which they did patch the snap throw significantly. And then as you can see, we're going to be working into this area over here. Now, one really, really, really important, uh, important adjustment. If you want to get killed, if you don't want to get killed in the flat, what I would recommend doing is taking that corner on the right side and essentially putting him into a hard flat. Okay, so you're going to see here I just simply hot routed him to a hard flat. Now, where this is going to become problematic is let's say they run a corner route. Well, what you're going to see if they run a corner route is, well, the tight end is wide open. So what does that mean for your responsibility? If the tight end goes to the corner, he's yours. If the tight end doesn't go to the corner, he's not. So you're going to see now, once we kind of get all this set up, all we're doing is we're hard flatting on that side. And if that tight end goes to the corner, okay, we're just going to come follow him. And as you see, everything is absolutely bagged in this defense. Now, you can obviously play some cat and mouse games. You can play some chess if you want to. Um, feel free to every now and then put that guy in a cloud. And then, you know, if because if they're not if they're not running, they're running back to the flat out of this, which I think they obviously should be. If they're not, they're kind of crazy in my opinion. Um, you know, but let's say they're doing a lot of this angle route concept. Well, you don't have to worry about that, as you can see right there. So we can easily drop a cloud flat. We can leave the soft squad. There's a lot of freedom that you have in this defense. And so I'd encourage you to kind of leverage some of that. You know, an, another thing that you could do is you could simply go ahead and play that hard flat coverage. And then if you wanted to, you could take that safety and man him up on the tight end. Why would you do that? Well, the reason I would recommend doing that is because any crossing route from left to right is yours anyway. It's your responsibility anyway. So now if the tight end goes to the corner, well, he's manned up. So you've got great coverage on that. And then now what you're going to be able to do is if they're running some kind of deep crossing pattern, now you're completely free to just deal with crossers. So I absolutely love that about this defense. I think this is easily the best defense for um, this, you know, before this situation. The reason why I like it so much is because um, there's just a lot of freedom. I mean, there really is. With, with cover six, um, you get a great matching concept to the backside, but then you can create match if you want to. I mean, you can easily go ahead and make a couple hot routes here, and we've created, you know, cover four quarters, if you will, uh, to that side now with a free defender in the middle of the field. So I like this defense a lot. I think it just gives me a lot of freedom and ability to be able to match and, and do that. I would recommend, I would highly recommend if you're going to run this defense, one of the things you want to really get good at is, um, one of the things you really want to get good at is you want to be able to, uh, again, be adaptable. You know, be adaptable, be adaptable, be adaptable. I think that's super, super important. But this defense, by and large, you're going to take away 99% of what they're going to want to do. You can even man that blitzing guy up if you want to, if you want to only rush three. I think rushing three is actually becoming much better this year than it's been. Uh, it's been okay this year, but it's getting better. It's getting better every single week. So you see here, you get a tight end drag. Well, you've got that manned up. Now you're working to the crosser. And, I mean, you've got pretty good defense across the board. So that's the beauty of this coverage is that – it's adaptable. There's a lot you can do with it. You can play kind of cat and mouse games with your opponent, whether you're going to go into a hard flat or not. If you're not going to go on a hard flat, be prepared if you need to come over here and kind of poach and then kind of work back in there. You're not really concerned. Think about this for a second. You're really not that concerned with anything, uh, with anything on the left, okay, as far as like a flood. You've got enough zones over there. You should be able to defend most flooding concepts fairly well. And in this year's game, corner routes are just not as good as they've been in years past. So that's how I would defend it out of cover six. Guys, if you want to learn my entire match defense, or if you just want to get access to everything, unlimited access to all of my content, all my ebooks, I've got, I think, seven defensive guides and three offensive guides out. And I would just encourage you, if you want to get access to all of them, all you got to do is join the membership. It's 10 bucks a month, and again, you can cancel it whenever you want. But as long as your subscription is active, you get access to every single thing that we do, all the ebooks, all the tips, everything. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for that, there's a link down below in the description and in the comment section where you can sign up for just 10 bucks a month.